you're new, welcome. If you're not new, I am very much surprised, but thank you. I wanted to do a little summer. Sorry. But this is a new level of my room unlocked because I don't ever film from this angle, but here we are. As you guys saw from the title of the video, these are my summer essentials. We're halfway through the summer. I can't believe that. Like, I have one more month left before I have to go back to school because I feel like I did nothing, but I did everything. And there's so much more that I want to do, but I work every single day. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is these essentials. So let's get into them. Okay, so first we're going to talk beauty, skincare, and makeup. Those things are extremely important when it's summer because you are getting hot and your body is sweating, especially during the summer. Okay, so my first essential is the Tree Hill Collection body scrub and lotion i got these two in the same scent because i'm obsessed with the scent my best friend showed it to me it's the moroccan rose and it smells like a dream it smells like i walked into a botanical garden and i love that so this body scrub and the lotion same scent it's insanely good so i highly recommend this so i don't know if i talked about this before but i had a signature scent i can no longer use because it got destroyed for me a little bit not the point of the video but it got destroyed as my favorite scent because now it's associated with other people so i've been on a look for like a new signature scent and this is what i came up with because this smells so good as much as i do love my lotion and body scrub when i use perfume i am not a floral person i'm more of a musky scent i feel like this is the perfect mix between musky and floral it's the Jo malone wild bluebell cologne and it is so good i actually don't know if this is it was in the women's section of sephora so maybe they just call perfume cologne but it is so good so good otherwise i do love anything by the body shop they have such good smells and they have musky and floral scents so you should try them for the most part i think they're vegan also which is always a good thing so on to makeup l'oreal voluminous waterproof mascara I use this every single day when I go to work. Every single day because waterproof, which I need for the summer because I have oily skin when it's hot out. I have oily skin and this never moves. Never moves ever. Fenty Beauty's Invisimat. Oh my God, guys. Especially in the summer. Like I use this before the summer, but especially in the summer, this makes me look so much less sweaty than I usually do. Like. I do like half of my face and every single time I do half of my face first, I'm shocked how much this makes my skin look matted because it really, it really does a job and it stays. Onto my favorite skincare company of all time, Glow Recipe. Their skin tints are literally their dew drops in a tint form and I love it. I love it so much. It gives me that sun-kissed glow and I'm a very pale girl. So to get a sun-kissed glow is insane is insane and i love it and this oh my god okay sorry clutz this is insane i've repurchased it about seven times right but it's the watermelon glow ultra fine mist so so good so good. i can't even explain how good it is this really isn't beauty or skincare or makeup but i had to include this somewhere in the video because these are my lifeline these are my everything and it is my wired headphones listen i love my airpods i love them don't get me wrong but sometimes they overheat or sometimes they lose battery. So a wired headphone, oh my God, this is my lifeline. I walk around the house on these and I just like headphones in. Don't talk to anybody. This section is going to be books. For the summertime, I could not recommend just one book because I feel like all of her books are very summery or for the most part, the ones that I've read by her are or take place around summer or tropical vibes. And that is Emily Henry. I also heard The Happy Place. It is like trending all over my For You page. It's supposedly really good. I did not read it, but all of her books, beach reads, book lovers, people we met on vacation, they're all around beach houses or on vacation, clearly in the name. Why did I say that? Beach reads, literally on the beach. She's such an amazing writer. I'm pretty sure all of these have been on that New York Times book list, whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. Bestsellers list, whatever. Whatever it is, I know that these books have been on it because these were trending all over TikTok. And these are so good and they are so quick and they are so tropical. And I love this book series. Series, it's not a series. Sorry. Work brain on overload. But anything by emily henry 
you will love. Now, if you're not on this craze, I don't know what you're doing with your life. If you don't like reading and you just want to watch something, might I recommend The Summer at Tim Brady? Because I loved the show so much that I had to go and read the books. I was so fulfilled by season one that I was like, I need to go read the book. With The Summer at Tim Brady, the second that I finished episode eight of season one, was it episode eight? Episode eight? eight or ten i ran to barnes and nobles ordered all three of these together anything by jenny Han. let's be so for real it's so good it's so good and if you're not team conrad i don't know what you're doing with your life but these are so good and i love them so much let me know who's your favorite from here and what is your favorite part of the trilogy the unhoneymooners this is another tropical setting book and i feel like it is so funny and entertaining and it's a fake dating trope it's so good enemies lovers i read this twice and it was one of the books that got me into reading in the first place this one this one i'm so aware it's controversial i know it's controversial it's from hannah grace also known as the author of icebreakers this story i liked this one a lot more than the first one i'm not even gonna lie which is why it's on this list because it is so good i love russ he's such a cutie pie now let's get to the summer essentials that everybody literally clicked on this video to see which is the clothes but we're going to start off with shoes these are so comfortable i didn't expect them to be this comfortable i feel like everybody needs a pair of these or something similar because, oh my god, guys, my mom was really on my butt this year about getting girlier shoes. And this is the perfect cop-out of the slides, but girly version. And these are so comfortable. I did not expect myself to love them the way I did. And I do. And when I'm not at work, I'm usually wearing these. Now, another controversial opinion. These. I know. Okay, listen, I know they look like dad shoes don't get it twisted but these are so comfortable i'm not saying that my other ones aren't comfortable i just had to break them in because they are the girly girl ones which are just like right on your feet like a little ballet shoe but these these i feel like they are so flexible and they are so nice that i could wear them to the beach i could wear them to run errands when i know people aren't gonna see me like they are so good and comfortable and they're just like a little little slip on oh my god my leg fell asleep no wake up oh my god i'm gonna leave my leg right here for now so a hat protect your head in the summer oh my god my hair is so poofy i'm not you know what we're not gonna try this right now because i don't want to mess up my hair unlike popular belief i did do my hair this morning it's just a little bit messier because again a lot of hours at work protect your head in the summer because the uv light is insane so please protect your head use a hat whether it's a baseball cap or a bucket hat or another type of hat. I don't know the name. A cute tote bag. I don't know what it is about the summer magic, but I never want a real bag. I always want a little tote. And this is my tote that I bring to the beach. Or one of them, I think. I think I have one more from Victoria's Secret also. It's a tote bag. And it is so cute because it is also pink. And I love them so much. And I take a little tote to work. I take a little tote to go hang out with my friends. I take a little tote to the beach. I have a tote for every single occasion, okay? And I love it. One of the first items of clothing that I wear on a weekly basis, if not twice a week, is my Sabrina Carpenter shirt. Look at it. Look at her. She's stunning. She's amazing. You guys just got on the trend of loving Sabrina Carpenter. I have loved her since 2015. She's amazing. She's been the same person the whole entire time. You guys just got on the wave. But it's okay. But I love her, which is why I wear it. Plus, the fit of the shirt is so great. It's like three-fourths. It's so oversized on me. But I'm like, this is so cute. And I want more. But I need to save up money. And I just want more of her shirts now that I have that one because I wear it so regularly regularly Ugh. this shirt it is so flowy and it's like a blouse but i love it because it's giving oh my god why am i crumpling up my shirts you know what this is giving this is giving bandana shirt but like a blouse because of the pattern it looks like a bandana but it is such a blousey shirt like it's loose it's fun it's it's very thin fabric which i love for the summertime and it's so good this is my all-time favorite summer shirt that i found this year look how cute it is look how girly it is look at it it's so perfect it's the perfect shirt for the summer and i love it 
so much. I don't even know what it's called and where I could buy more of these because I got this probably, I think at TJ Maxx. But I love this shirt so much and I wish that I looked to see if I they had like another one because I wear this one so often. And I want it in different colors and every single shade because I love it that much. It's so good. It's such a great shirt. Oh my god, another summer favorite. Linen pants. I love my linen pants. I know that it looks to you guys as though I have only two pair of linen pants. But I swear I have more. And they are all in the laundry because I wear these every single day to work. I'm literally wearing some right now. My knee showing. Um, I don't. I, I don't have enough space to bend out my leg. But linen pants every single day of the summer because it's work appropriate. You can wear them out. You can wear them with your friends. You can wear them to work. You can wear them to the beach. They go everywhere and they're so light and they're so fitted and they look so nice on everybody. My personal opinion. Linen pants are definitely on my summer essential. The last thing, which is very important, I brought out two pairs to show you how versatile they are, which is Abercrombie shorts. I love these. These are my loose shorts and these are my tight shorts. So whenever I'm whew, whenever I feel like a looser day, these. Whenever I feel a tighter day and I want to look snatched, these. Plus, these come in so many different styles and sizes that like they are amazingly great. And like they have like some of them have a second button to adjust on your waist, which I find so helpful because I feel like I always have like a gap between my waist but they fit perfectly everywhere else so i love abercrombie shorts because i feel like they sit the best on me if you made it all the way to the end of the video i literally love you so 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 much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye